A warm welcome everyone, I hope you're having a magnificent Sunday and the weather in the UK is shining and bright and if you're into that sort of thing I hope um, you'll find it well and if you're in other countries with a similar situation then um, wonderful. Um, I'm, I've started off rambling already. So today uh, this vlog is probably going to go up a little bit later than I had intended because it's been a day that's been um, fraught with internet and Wi-Fi problems Internet's been cutting out for about half an hour and coming back again, then odd minutes in and out, which is when you're trying to upload a video, uh, losing uh, Wi-Fi for uh, a time upsets the upload. Now, YouTube do remember where it is, but it seems to add hours and hours onto the time, so quite often it's best just to delete it and then re-upload it. So that's taken a little bit of time. Also, there's been an England football game, which is... Um, um, caused me to lose time as well because I've been distracted by that. Um, there we go, but uh, oh, and another thing as well, things always happen together, it seemed. Uh, for a select amount of, according to what YouTube's telling me on the screen, for a select amount of creators, they've changed the uploader ever so slightly when you um, upload videos, put in the information. And um, before, if you'd monetize the channel, it'd do it automatically. Now you have to hit um, an extra button to say, do you want to monetize this or not? I don't know the reason behind it. Maybe they want people to forget about that button and less people monetize it. I don't, I don't know what the reason is behind that, but it must be a reason. But it doesn't work quite properly. So basically, um, when the video uploads, it's got the wrong title. Um, it copies to Twitter wrong, quite often the description deletes and all the tags delete, so I have to put them back again afterwards. And also the end links, I have to put them back afterwards. It takes, it's very, very uh, time consuming, so for a short space of time when the video is live, um, there's a load of information missing, which, which isn't great, I can tell you. It's a bit of annoying. But anyway, let's get back to it. Um, these, these are all problems that nothing's ever perfect. If you're gonna run a YouTube channel, expect pain every now and again, and quite often there'll be one or two things happening at the same time. But that's when, uh, that's when it really tests you to see um, how good are you actually continuing and keeping the thing afloat. And we're still floating, we're not sinking. Right, let's get on to the real reason behind this vlog. I mentioned it briefly there, England, the England football team. Um, quite often, historically, it's quite painful to watch England uh, uh, play in championships. We do very well in the qualifying sessions and then muck it all up in the actual competition itself. In the last World Cup, uh, in the group stage, we had Italy, Uruguay and Costa Rica. We lost 2-1 to Italy, 2-1 to Uruguay and then drew 0-0 with Costa Rica and we was out. So that wasn't very clever at all. So it was from some trepidation. We've got the youngest side I think we've ever had in the World Cup, England. You think, right, we're not really expecting much. But we had Tunisia. Um, on paper, we should, be able, should have been able to beat them before the championship started. Panama and Belgium, which are, they've, they've got some great players who are a bit like us, a bit like England. They've got great players that don't really come together as a team, or at least didn't before the, the World Cup started. Now, Tunisia, we got to a good start there. We won 2-1, although it was 1-1 for a little while. We thought nothing was going to happen, and then Harry Kane actually got a goal. But the game today, I don't know if you saw it, um, Panama, you thought, right, this is going to be a banana skin. Uh, Belgium had already won two games and practically, well, they probably are through to the next round. Uh, and we thought, thought that this is potential banana skin. And England just performed the best I've ever seen them. They've got a sack full of goals. And at half time it was 5-0. I thought, am I, am, I watching the, um, am I watching the right game here? I mean, you don't want to be disrespectful to Panama, but they, they weren't very good. Or maybe England were brilliant. Um, and then the game ended up 6-1 uh, uh, to us. Now, the papers... The national press are probably going to get completely carried away. So let's get carried away while we can. Um, England are going to win the, cup, win the World Cup. We're going to beat everyone. But in essence, we've just beaten Tunisia and uh, Panama. So we are through to the next round. We don't necessarily need to beat Belgium in the next uh, round. Uh, well, the next uh, last round of the groups. But it's probably the best team we're going to play so far. So it's more of an indication of just how good uh, the team is. But this is all building confidence. And I'm extremely happy. Now, Sterling's not getting any goals. Sorry if you're not into football. We'll talk about something else in a second here. Uh, so Stone's got two goals. Um, I wouldn't have bet on that happening. Uh, Kane got a hat-trick, although the last two penalties and one was a bit of a ricochet. No, that's not an Irish player. That was just a rebound. And Lingard got a magnificent goal. And uh, Beloy got one back for um, Panama. Not Banana Armour. Panana Armour. Something like that. Anyway, they, they got that back. Rio Ferdinand... Uh, one of the commentators or experts said um, they were playing a bit like uh, Panama 
like a, a non-league side. But let's forget about that. Let's pretend they were the best ever. England won 6-1. I've never seen that before in a championship, and I've probably never seen it again. I mean, Panama had to qualify in the first place, so they're quite decent. They did have to beat other people. Um, so, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. England going to win the World Cup. What do you reckon? 2-1 Tunisia, 6-1, um, yeah, Panama. Our defence looks a bit dodgy at times, so it'd be interesting to see what happens at Belgium. It's all about coming top in the group and seeing who we draw next. So, fantastic, England, England. Now, if England won the World Cup, we'd probably all come together like never before, um, fantastic. Um, I think before the World Cup started, I posted a question on Facebook. I said, um, have you had a choice of either England winning the World Cup and the country coming together like they've never done before since 1966, everyone happy, a boost to the economy, everyone loving each other, else slapping each other on the back saying they're brilliant, no hate at all. If you'd like that, or alternatively, England go out in the group stage and you have £20,000 paid into your bank account uh, and everything stays roughly the same. Um, Everyone that answered that said they wanted the 20,000. Maybe I should have put it less. Maybe I should have put 5,000. Would they have said yes then? Um, I, mm, I don't know. I, I, I'd like to see England win the World, win the World Cup, but let's not get carried away. Um, to see in my lifetime, that would be great. Um, I'm not sure how much longer that's left. Say I live to 100, that gives them 60 years or, or so. Yeah, they're bound to do it, maybe, perhaps. Anyway, I want to talk about also, uh, let's do two videos in one here. Um, normally these videos go up in 1080p, but um, due to the amount of time it's been delayed with the internet stuff, we might do 720p. I don't think that's going to make a huge difference, is it? Seeing me in 720p rather than 1080p. I might even get um, better looking or something. Um, until I get TV studio makeup and they can do anything to anyone, I, 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 I've seen the results. Um, okay, so yes, the Formula One. Now, Formula One, if you watch any previous vlogs here, my favourite team is McLaren. I love McLaren as a kid. That was about the time, the red and white cars. Always at the front, always um, dissing with the championship. Ayrton Senna, Prost, um, Mika Hakkinen, all, all, all of those bods. Um, and um, McLaren haven't been very good for a long, long time. A long, long time. It's like supporting a team that used to be in the Premiership in the football and now in a relegation fight each time. Now, Alonso went there quite a few seasons ago now, and they had the Honda engine, and the Honda engine just was not working with the package. And they said that the McLaren had the best aerodynamics on the grid, and it was the Honda engine, the reliability of that, which wasn't doing very well. And it was painful watching Alonso at the back of the grid every single race, because he's one of the best drivers out there, now coming to the end of his career. Been a bit unlucky with the teams he's been in, to be honest with you. So, uh... They persevered with a few seasons, uh, McLaren, and then they ditched Honda. Honda brought lots and lots of sponsorship and money to the team. Uh, and then they went with Renault, which I thought was a good idea at the time. Uh, Renault engines supply Red Bull. Red Bull at the front. They fight for wins every now and again. D um, uh, Daniel Ricciardo, Red Bull drivers, already won two races. Well, great, right. So McLaren's got the best aerodynamic package. They've got the Renault engine. Let's have excitement. Now, they got a little bit better, first of all, McLaren. And then they sunk back, particularly in the last race in France, back to where they were before. So it wasn't really the Honda engine then, no. I mean, it, it, it was the McLaren itself. So McLaren are in the mire. Um, everything they're bringing in, their performance enhancing packages, are not uh, enhancing the performance. I, I, I'd imagine now uh, Alonso's won the Le Mans rally. He'll be looking for other things. He won't want to be driving at mid-grid or back of the grid again, so he will leave. Um, this is terrible. What... What's got to happen here? They need to get personnel because, you know, form, it takes a lot of money to run a Formula 1 team and um, they must be running at a loss because the amount of money going into their budget, they haven't got the Honda uh, sponsorship coming in anymore, so they want money coming in. You're not, you're not going to do it not getting any points each time and you can only sustain that for a certain amount of time and then it's game over, isn't it? Anyway, let me know what you think about that. So it's two things. Uh, McLaren, is there any route back or are they on the route for bankruptcy and utter disaster away from the sport? Um, hope not. And England, 6-1, still uh, just a one-off game or can we have we got the team that may be able to win the World Cup? Let's say, I think, I think um, we, we might be able to. Yeah, anyway, till next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.